What's up guys, Team Headshot here, bringing you some more gameplay commentary here today for Modern Warfare 3. I got this gameplay on my friend's account, Solus Warrior. We were playing some COD together, and um, we were playing at my place, and we both got this gameplay, so I thought, you know, why not chuck it on YouTube? So, here it is. But um, I'm sure that most of you aren't here to watch the gameplay, and today's topic on hand, as always, I've got something to talk about, and that is something that um, has come to my mind whilst playing Call of Duty over the past couple of months, but it really did spring into mind tonight. I wrote it all over my Twitter, I said, look, I honestly believe that the way you play Call of Duty reflects on the type of person you are in real life. You might not agree to this, but just hear me now, just hear me out. Um, what I mean by this, you know, let's go back in time, let's go back to my offer to Black Ops. We, kn we knew the UMP-45 was overpowered. We knew that one man army noob tube was a problem. We knew that the famous suppressor in Black Ops was overpowered, and we knew the AK-74U. We had, well, let's, let's just say we had some problems there as well. So we knew we had all these problems in these games, but we still saw people, generally 10 prestigious, 15 prestigious, people are much higher level than everyone else. Generally, the higher levels in this game actually played the game with these guns. You know, they used the easy option. They just used the cheapest guns they could find. The guns that they knew that if the other person wasn't using them, they knew they were going to beat them because the gun overpowered them. They used the guns that were unbalanced and clearly were much more powerful, much more better than any other gun within the game and they just continue to use it why I don't know I don't get why people actually play like this and what I mean play like this is actually pick the easiest gun in the game and just use that forget about trying something different forget about playing the game how it should be played by you know picking a class mastering it then master another class kind of thing I believe the best way to play this game, and the only way I think you should be playing this game, is give every give every gun a go. Try different weapons. Try different loadouts. Don't stick with the same thing. Trust me. If you continue to stick with the same loadout throughout your experience within this game, you're going to find it boring very quickly. If you want to get the most out of this game, change up your perks. Change up your guns. Change up your attachments. Change up your proficiencies. Change up everything. Just try it all out. You never know. You might just find the perfect combination that works for you. And you would never have used it unless you changed up your class. And the people who actually go around and use these guns, and what I mean these guns is the overpowered weapons, they're obviously people who take the easy option out in life. And the people who are not willing to try anything different, they're willing just to cruise along and um, use what everyone else is using. And... Just people who actually don't care, and uh, who just, you know, use easy, you take the easy option out, as I said. And I guess it would be fair to, to say, to categorize everyone who uses the UMP in Modern Warfare 3 as that, because we have a lot of younger gamers that don't really understand that the game that well, or we have a lot of new players to Modern Warfare 3, and particularly... The, the girl gaming generation are starting to come through. We're seeing a lot of girl gamers coming through on Modern Warfare 3. They don't, they're not going to know what to use. And I guess we'll categorize the girl gamers within the casual gamers. That they're just there to have some fun, pick up a gun, who cares what it is, doesn't matter. But what I mean by the people who take the easy option out, the people who are actually put the time and dedication in, the people who on day three of the game coming out, a level 80, you know, running around with the UMP silenced or, like I had a guy, second prestige, the game's been out for what, a week now, and a guy with second prestige running around and searching and destroying the UMP silence. He was level 70 or something. And I'm thinking, what have you learned? If you're continuously using this gun, you know, what's the point? I think once you master a weapon and get gold on it, you, you should be done with that gun. And that's what I did. I found myself using the scar from whenever I got it, whatever level you get it at, till 50 when I got the ACR. And I found 
by the time that I got to 50, I was done with the scar. I didn't really want to use it again because, you know, I'd done all the challenges with it. I mastered it. And I got the 500 kill title for it. I was, I was done with the gun. I, I was satisfied with it. So, moving on to a different weapon and mastering that again. I've done it all again with the ACR and the M14. So, moving on and using different weapons, you know, much more satisfying feeling. And I feel as though I'm getting much more out of the game than sticking with the one gun through the whole prestige and that's what I did in Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 and that's probably why that was my favorite COD because every prestige I was finding myself using a different loadout using a different class when I first started I was running around with shotguns and just running around whatever that I could pick up and then my first prestige I was running around with a sniper and tactical knife and then my second prestige was onto assault rifles and then my third prestige I was trying out all the other assault rifles that I hadn't used so I was finding that I was just covering all guns throughout the game. I was getting experience with it throughout the whole game, and I think that found I really found that I that my overall game and overall um, skill ability within Call of Duty greatly increased because I had much more much more awareness of what each gun was capable of doing. So, if it had to be into a situation where you had to pick up the gun and if you've never used it before, you wouldn't know what to expect. Whereas if you're kind of proficient with every weapon within the game, you know, you're going to be much more successful if you have to pick up a gun in a life or death situation within the game. So, guys, let me know what you think. Um, I just wanted to quickly touch on, like, someone who actually goes out there and uses the, the guns that take a lot of skill, like the F2000, the shitty guns in the game, and the single fire guns, the people who go out there and use that, I think the type of person they are, you know, really reflects on, really reflects to that, because they are someone who's dedicated, someone who is actually going to take a risk, and someone who is willing to try something, even though they know it's not very good, even though it may not work out the best for them, you know, they're going to give it a go, give it a crack. So, guys, let me know what you think. Does playing style reflect on the type of person you are? I think it does. Let me know what you think. Leave a like. If you liked the video, and uh, as always, subscribe for more gameplay commentaries from me in the near future. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.